Welcome to NRG This Week. I'm Leon Thomas. I'll be joined with NRG CEO and President Mike Weiner in just a couple minutes. You're here for NRG. That stands for Network Referral Group. NRG This Week. Here we go. I'm Leon Thomas. Welcome again to another episode of NRG This Week. I'm joined by NRG CEO and President Mike Weiner. Mike, how you doing? I'm doing awesome, Leon. Good morning. How are you? Everything is groovy. Everything is groovy except for the third consecutive week. We have to talk about our Baltimore Ravens. Go ahead. What's your take on last night? Nice you know, Leon, it's a good thing I'm a positive guy because it was a tough game. Everybody thought the Ravens were going to get, you know, their butts kicked. I'm very proud of them. They hung in there tight. And even though a lot of people are questioning, should they have kicked the extra point, taking it to overtime, which probably would not have been a bad idea. You got to admit the Ravens got grit. And when they get a lot of these players back next year, they've got more guys on injury reserve, Leon. Unbelievable. And their backup quarterback, Tyler Huntley, what a performance. I mean, he looked like a veteran quarterback. And, you know, the Packers are the top team in the NFC. The Ravens were this close to knocking them out. And in a night where Tom Brady got shut out 9 to nothing, I think it's the first time he's ever been shut out in the game. The Ravens almost did the unthinkable and knocked off the Packers. So, so close, Leon. So close. It was. It was a close game. And, again, like, like you mentioned, it, it's one that um, we wish we had back. Right. First of all. But secondly, we, we were so, so close to doing it. And everyone thought that we wouldn't play well, uh, didn't have a chance without Lamar Jackson. And Tyler Huntley comes in and just does a phenomenal job. And so, you know, I guess it shows always be ready to play. He went through the preparation and was absolutely ready to play and did a, did a really good job. But what, all right. 30 seconds, Mike, what's your take on that last play? Should we have gone for the two-point conversion or the one-point uh, extra point? What do you think? You know what, Leon? I'm one never to question Harbaugh. Last night I would have kicked the extra point, taking it to overtime. You and I were discussing the way Huntley had the Ravens' offense moving down the field. You go to overtime, absolutely anything can happen. And, you know, I'd like to see them next year put both quarterbacks in the backfield so the other team doesn't know who the quarterback is and who's going to throw or run. I think that would be a really cool play kind of designed out of college. Wouldn't that be cool? You know, it's interesting you say that on one of the shows that we produce here at Leon Thomas and Associates. One of the shows is called uh, First Impression Sports Talk. It's done by Jasmine Pollock, an up-and-coming sports analyst um, out of Florida. And one of the things that was brought up on her show last week week and you can see that on Mondays on YouTube one of the mm -hmm. things that was brought up on her show was why don't we play Jackson and Huntley together that would be something the NFL's never seen and you know maybe they should do that next week against the uh, Bengals I mean we're fighting for to get into the playoffs and we probably need to win every game the rest of the way so I, I think they need to I think we're at a point now where you do the dramatic to make dramatic and sometimes you got to go way out of the box in business in life and i totally agree with you i think it'll be great now mike you mentioned as we talk about business now now you mentioned that sometimes you need to go out of the box sometimes you need to do something different and in sports and in business there's momentum so talk to us about the the importance of momentum in business and how going into 2022 2022 that uh, some Companies can capitalize on the momentum. How important is that? You know, I did a speech recently uh, creating massive momentum for my NRG members. And momentum is everything, but it starts with attitude. You make a decision to have momentum. And, Leon, I'm really proud of all my NRG members. But the New York City group especially, we had three visitors there on Friday. Two of them already have joined. I expect the third to join. The group, you know, even though we're getting very close to Christmas, Everybody showed up. Everybody was on their A game. Sometimes people kind of take December off for the holidays. And I just really wanted to thank everybody in NRG. But 
especially the New York City group, because we just brought in two great quality members, and the third one will probably be joining this week. So momentum is everything in life, in business. You create it first mentally, you visualize it, you articulate it, you write it down, and you absolutely manifest momentum. Absolutely. Mm. Keep that momentum going and manifest the momentum. And you said in New York City, three quality members. Three quality new visitors were there. And I got to tell you something. One of them signed up right with me after the meeting. And the other was so excited, but we she didn't have time Friday. She got on a Zoom with me yesterday morning, Sunday morning at 11 a.m. And we, had, we, we talked for about five, seven minutes. I gave her the overview and she joined on the spot on a Sunday. And she said, Mike, I never thought about the tax write-off that you just brought up. And yes, I want to be part of the team. I'm ready to join. And that was really cool, bringing in a new member on a Sunday morning while, while the rest of the world's getting ready for NFL football. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Mike, before we wrap up, please help with this. As companies, individuals are, are looking at their plans for 2022, what are some things, some concrete things companies, individuals should be looking at that will help them personally and that will help them grow their business? Give us two or three things. I love the question, Leon, and I'm glad you said companies and individuals because, you know, with coronavirus still out there, so many people have started their own business. There's three things, Leon, goal setting, reading daily, and, and um, bringing in either a coach or a mastermind team. So goal setting what I always recommend to people is put the dollar amount of what you want to make for the year at the top of the page and then break it down by month, by week, by day, and then put a program together that will absolutely get you there. Reading is crucial. Readers are leaders. And you've got to be reading positive, especially in the world we live in, You know, whether it's What to Say When You Talk to Yourself by Dr. Shad Helmstead or my book, The NRG Advantage, will be online at the nrg.online website first quarter of 2022, um, and then you need to either hire a coach or have a mastermind team because you see, Leon, people get to the next level when they work with people at their level and above. I've got different coaches, and it makes me a better person, a better individual, a better motivator, and a better leader for my organization. So goal setting, reading daily, hire a coach, or become part of a small, trusted, loyal mastermind group and watch your revenue, watch your business go through the roof in 2022. <clears throat> Great. Thank you, Mike. Great tips. Now, if someone has questions about network referral group, they want to learn more about it, give us all the ways they can get in touch with you and NRG. It's amazing how many ways people can reach me these days, Leon. Facebook, <laughs> LinkedIn, through the NRG.online, NRG website. My favorite still is the old-fashioned one. Call me on my cell. It's 443-756, and it's on the screen, 9656. Call me if it's late at night. Send me a text. I'll be happy to get back with you, and I definitely look forward to working with you in 2022. It's going to be an amazing year and a year that we're all going to grow together. All right. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Happy holidays to you. Thanks for being here again on another edition of NRG This Week. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Leon. Folks, you just watched another episode of NRG This Week. That was NRG President and CEO Mike Weiner. My name is Leon Thomas. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching another edition of NRG This Week. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you.